hear that soon as I grab the mic. Let's get into it. Put the finger down my throat, I hold on beats for me. Once again for the camera, High Priest. Anti-Pop Consortium is the group, also known as H-PRISM, one-fourth of the group. We, we um, had our f first formal album, which was the Tragic Epilogue in uh, 2000. And uh, prior to that, each member of the group was more known as vocalists within the, the New York poetry scene and the New York underground hip hop scene. And uh, as things progressed, you know, we all developed our music identities. And that uh, culmination was the first album, Tragic Epilogue. And um, production-wise with that album, the sound was uh, very uh, synth-heavy and processing-heavy. But again, you know, the main focus was really hardware. And um, over the course of the you know, years we also then in turn with Warp Records released Arrhythmia and that album was kind of the transition to starting to integrate a lot more software and VST uh, uh, plugins, DirectX <laughs> for my PC people out there as well. And now with this being 2009, the new LP, Fluorescent Black coming soon is uh, predominantly, I would say, 50 to 60 percent software and the rest various hardware. Well, within the group, there's not necessarily de uh, designated roles, but um, everybody has a certain uh, understanding of everybody's contributions and, you know, um, you know we kind of put together a good machinery to be able to translate the ideas live, because when we're performing live as well, um, a good portion of the show is based on live improvisation with the uh, software and hardware elements. So even on the stage, you know, in the keyboard rig, along with, you know, some other treats, you know, reason is definitely open. And, you know, some of the synths are being processed live on stage while another member of the group is doing holding down drums on MPC or you know bass lines on whatever synth accompaniment as well. When I, when I'm beginning to produce a track, I usually start with the uh, mixer routed up top always, and then um, you know depending on you know where I'm going production wise. I try to add on as much processing within reason before I export to whatever software I'm actually mixing in. You know, I do a lot of the processing within reason just to give uh, my sense that individual characteristic and, you know, um, make them stand out because a, a lot of times people just assume from the background that it's hardware, but, you know, 50 to 60 percent of the time it's usually not right. I, I see um, reason becoming more prominent within um, hip hop just because programming is more prominent right now and reason's um, architecture is pretty stable, you know, being that it's a self-contained unit, it's not as processor heavy as, you know, some of the other um, more VST driven environments. So, you know, with a moderate speed computer, you can really, you know, um, have access to, you know, a wide range of instruments, so, and a wide so sound palette. All right, yeah, so come with me now. We're gonna go into the studio. I'll show you some of the different ways that Reason's in use. Here we are, we're in Swordfish Studios, myself being High Priest. H Prism of the Anti-Pop Consortium. Engineer Earl Blaze is somewhere in the background. Um, right here is a, the particular joint that I'm speaking about. Um, is a track that's actually called Capricorn One for the LP, forthcoming fluorescent black. And um, you're just gonna hear a little bit of the instrumental, but one of the things that I wanna kinda illustrate is the fact that um, 
the sound design is mostly rocking with uh, the Maelstrom here. And um, you know, I have a little process in there going on it. And um, yeah, I'll take you through that first and then we could go on to another one real quick just so you could hear some of the synth mode. Right, so what's happening here, you can see, uh, you know, I got the delay rocking, you know, got the arpeggiator, you know, creating that, um, that syncopation to the rhythm. And, it, you know, it's a comfortable environment for me because another thing that I could take a lot of credit for is um, being involved with the new school of producers in the early part of this year to introduce software and synth mode to the game. So now seeing it re really flourish and seeing where the tracks and the bars are, you know, you could kind of get a, a window into where the game's about to go. So, you know, don't be afraid to open up those filters, open up those knobs, do you. You know, I didn't even really want to expose a lot, honestly, but just enough so that you could kind of see my process and be inspired, you know, to take it to another level. But once again, High Priest, H Prism, representation of Anti-Pop Consortium, Airborne Audio, shout out to the whole team over in Sweden, shout out to James Bernard, and for fluorescent black coming soon. Peace.